Maybe I know all your secrets But you tell me stupid lies Oh, you think you can escape now. Welcome back to my channel Today we at Fort Tudlerdale And we're going to Salvation Army store Today is uh, Saturday So it's not so many people here today as on Wednesday Because on Wednesday they have a special uh, everything is 50% off today is um, everything is 25% off and um, I believe is uh, white color talk is on 50% off let's see what uh, we can find today a lot of furniture here actually a lot of in this particular store they have a lot of good furniture first what I found I got those shoes I've been looking for those kind for years that's my first time I found those. I never tried it, but I heard from different uh, resellers and YouTubers that uh, this kind of style, this kind of brand sells really good. So I decided to grab them. And now let's see what they have here. From clothes, <coughs> in uh, this Salvation Army, I usually find really good stuff. So let's see if I can find something good today. I am ready to look at everything. First, I'm looking at the shoes. Let's see. The shelves look empty for me. Let's see what they have. I went to Goodwill uh, bins already. You see the previous video. Oh, you didn't see? I'm not sure already. Uh, and now I'm at this store. I don't see nothing interesting from the woman's shoes. What is that Michael Kors? Looks like brand new, but um, I never tried to sell actually Michael Kors shoes. Only um, like a bags. It's not really selling for me. So Michael Kors, I'm uh, not taking Michael Kors. What is that? I don't know. Let's see. So far I found this men's shoes only. Women's, I don't see anything interesting. Oh well, look at this shoes, uh, SAS. I got those kind before. And um, I sold them for okay money <laughs> compared to how much I've spent for it. Okay, what else? What else? Nothing. Maybe I missed something. We, we can see everything. What is that? Looks like a Target brand or something. Did you guys see that the thrift stores raised the prices? Or it's only me? It's. Uh, I went to the Goodwill. Uh, prices is up even for blue bag which one they were selling for 99 cents now is 150 the same in Salvation Army prices is up okay so let's go check uh, jeans if we can find anything else any interesting here so I'm going one by one you have to have a lot of patience a lot of energy if you want to find something good Sometimes I just go inside the store and run around really fast and <laughs> of course I'm leaving with empty handed. If you want to find something, you have to be prepared to spend a couple hours in a store. Make sure you eat some food. And uh, you are ready to look for treasure. That's how I spend my uh, weekends. I go to um, Goodwill Beans. Uh, this I'm talking about price. You see those leggings? You see the price? $9.99. And those leggings, they don't even have a brand. The price is just unbelievable. $7 for leggings. I can just uh, put a couple more dollars and buy brand new this kind of... Uh, $8.99, $9.99. Uh, yeah, the price is just going up and up <laughs> not only in it uh, like a, i was looking apartments the price is just in the south, south florida is just unbelievable 
price is going up for everything even at the thrift stores let's see what they have here so on weekends uh, I work on a week I have a regular job how <laughs> a nine to five job and um, on weekends I'm going to Goodwill Bins in the morning and after I'm stopping in a couple uh, thrift stores come back home clean the stuff I found make uh, pictures uh, post it make some videos if I need it that's how I spend my uh, weekends and you know what I like it I like to go to different thrift stores and just look around sometimes I work all week and I'm waiting to <laughs> So far, I got uh, lucky today. I got those uh, two books of men's uh, sneakers. One is uh, $24.99, another one is $29.99. It's going to be 25% off on shoes. I got some sport bra, bra. The black one is for me. It's a really good condition, looks like new. Another one, I just want to check out what kind of brand is that and for how much I can sell it for. I always like to go and look different. Um, coffee sets and the plates <laughs> I feel myself like I, I'm in a museum going and looking around so those shoes I got is uh, $29.99 it's gonna be $22 and another one is gonna be about $20 by the way I'm doing this video a week after and the uh, black shoes which one is um, a ghost one it's size 13 was sold today for sixty dollars I got forty eight dollars after Poshmark um, fees minus twenty two I pay for so I made about twenty five dollars and another two shoes uh, still for sale I have all my uh, stores link below if you like to check it out <laughs> I actually start um, my uh, eBay store yesterday before I didn't have a store I was just selling like a, just a regular person and yesterday I opened the store and I'm planning to try give it a chance for eBay to sell more stuff this year let's see if I can do how I can do um, I usually sell at Poshmark my main sales is Poshmark and Mercari uh, a lot of people doesn't like Mercari, but for me, I think it's one of the best one and uh, I have the most sales is at Mercari. What I really want to learn, it's a golf stuff and a different toys like a plush toys because I just find out that plush toy can cost a lot of money. You can sell plushes for $20, $30 and even more. And they, if you go to Goodwill Beans, it, it's a lot of them there, but you just need to know which one. The same uh, golf stuff, it's, it's expensive. And it's like, at Goodwill Beans, nobody wants it. I never see some, somebody pick up the golf things. I guess I need to learn it. <laughs> what kind of brand do I have to buy? What kind of style do I need to buy? The same about toys. I need to, I guess, uh, watch more videos. I have to do more research to find out and start selling plushes too. I actually have some plush toys. I sold one yesterday, but it's like a Disney toys, some vintage Disney stuff. But I heard something like, I don't even remember the brand right now. I don't know that brand. <laughs> It's like a round toys, like a circle toys. Uh, looks like balls, and they have different kind of stuff. I don't know. If somebody knows, please leave me a comment, and maybe I can learn something. <laughs> also, I have different like tea sets. Uh, I found at Goodwill bins. It's sitting in my shelves for a while. Some of them sell, but it's selling really, really slow. You know, some people try to, you know, to just um, pick the one thing and sell it. For example, one person, they just sell different 
toys, only the toys. Like you go to Goodwill bins and you see the people what they're looking for. You already know. One girl, she looking only for toys. Another lady looking only for a woman's bra. I'm just giving you an example. As for me, I'm selling everything, a little bit of everything. Most of the stuff I'm selling is a woman uh, clothes, shoes, and uh, fashion bags. Same, I have stuff for men. But I always look everything. If I find something interesting, if I can sell it, I'm gonna grab it. I'll give you an example. I found at Goodwill Beans a uh, couple times already, like kitchenware, table, table clothes, tableware. Uh, I don't remember the brand, but I remember that I sold it for $75. Then I found a um, 100% uh, wool blanket. I sold it today for 75 bucks. I know I can sell it m for more money, but anyway. And at Goodwill Beans, nobody picking up that stuff. And uh, one day I found a Disney vintage, uh, it's like a baby uh, bedding stuff, ba baby blanket. I sold it for about $50 as well, so not so many people looking for that. So I'm thinking maybe should I concentrate on uh, stuff like that? Well, look at this, so beautiful, so gorgeous. Oh, you want to buy everything, but uh, <laughs> you need to learn how to stop yourself. You can't just bring everything. I live in an apartment, in an apartment, one bedroom apartment, and I just can't bring everything to my, <laughs> to my home. Okay, if I have like a house with the big garage, then maybe I can bring more stuff. More, I have more sale. But at the same time, you have to know what kind of stuff you have to bring at home. You can't just bring everything because it might say it sits there for years and nobody gonna buy it. So what's the point? That's why you have to do your research. Uh, shoes, it's selling really good for me. Shoes. Um, like a uh, house stuff as I told you like blankets like a uh, table clothes selling really good for me too and actually fast and of course uh, clothing but some brands sitting for a longer time some of them sitting for a couple days only and selling next day that's what I really like when I found something and next day somebody wants to buy it already I'm sure everybody <laughs> like uh, fast sales and uh, good sales and makes really good money. Uh, yesterday I was cleaning my uh, little closet, <laughs> my living room, where is I stuck all my uh, little containers, little bins with everything. And um, I have to go and donate some stuff. I found so much stuff, uh, which one is not selling or which one is sitting for. Uh, really long time or which one I don't want it so maybe like every three months I'm cleaning my bins my closet and see what is selling what is not and I donate donate it back to Goodwill <laughs> and that's how it works so I get stuff some of the stuff I don't do donate it back <laughs> then I get more stuff then I do donate it back like something goes in something has to go out I'm talking about toys you see how many of them here and um, I don't know which one is which which one is which which one is good which one is not which one should I buy which one is not I found this uh, free people uh, dress. It's really pretty, beautiful dress, size large. Uh, just a beautiful dress. And uh, it was sitting somewhere <laughs> in a kid's section. So that's why you have to look everywhere. Many times I found a uh, woman's, for example, woman's sorrel shoes in a kid's section. Then I found a really good ox in a kid's section. Or you find something like, because people take something, they look, they don't like, they live forever. That's why you have to look everywhere. You don't know where you can find and what you can find. Okay, so far I got this beautiful dress. I have three pair of shoes, guys, guys, shoes. 
I have a sports bra from me. I got another sport bra. What else I have? I think that's all for now. And you see next to the fitting room, people try something, they don't like it, they just leave it. And look what we find here. Made in supply or how what's the name of this brand? It's kind of expensive brand. And um let me grab it. Let's see. I have a couple um pieces in my closet for sale, but is not selling, so I think I have to think before if I'm gonna get this or not. Sometimes I see something and I really like it. I give you an example. Like some time ago, when I just started, I was selling uh, Victoria's Secret and Pink a lot. I was selling really, like, really fast, uh, really good. Sometime after, it just stopped selling for me. But I was keep taking more and more and more till one day I find out I have like 100 pieces of Pink and Victoria's Secrets, which one nobody wants it. So I. Uh, put as a bundle I just sold it for cheap uh, so what I try to say is sometimes you have to learn how to stop yourself do not buy stuff you don't need even you like it but you have to like stop and think okay when did I sell this last a year ago of course I'm not gonna buy it like uh, same couple years ago when we have um, COVID, everybody start doing, you know, exercising. I was selling a lot of Nike athletic shirts. I was selling them for $20, $25 and I was looking for them. Year after, people stop buying it and I used to go to stores and I found them and I still used to buy them, buy them, buy them till one day I realized I have to stop buying it because people not interested in that. I always like to go around the furniture in this store. They have so much good stuff. So if you move to new house, new place, and you have no furniture, instead of buying new one, you can find something really good one here. And really expensive for really cheap. Like you see this pink chair, it's beautiful. And it's 50% off. You see the price and it's 50% off on the top. And most of the pieces you find here, you don't, you're not going to find nowhere else because they don't make those pieces anymore. It's a vintage. It's really unique and beautiful pieces. So next time when I move, I think I'm going to get something from uh, thrift stores. You just have to go and look around what you can find. Oh my God, I love this chair. I just love this chair. <laughs> But I go to the store and I see, okay, I like this chair, I want this chair, but then I stop myself and I think, okay, how am I going to take this chair home? I don't have, my car is not going to fit this chair, and then I'm upset. Okay, so what is my big plans for this weekend? Plans for this weekend is donate stuff, I, uh, I'm not going to sell it anymore in my closet. I'm just going to Goodwill Beans in the morning and I'm going to just drop everything in the store. I'm just <laughs> hoping that they, it's so much stuff I'm going to donate. I'm just, you know what I don't want to? I'll go to the Goodwill Beans and they're just going to drop my stuff in the beans. And then I have to go and <laughs> look for my, I'm going to look through my stuff, you know <laughs> what I mean? So that's why probably I have to donate to a different store, which one I'm not going to come back. So... What can I do? Probably first I'm gonna go to this Goodwill Beans and when I finish shopping, then I'm gonna come back and donate stuff. I'm going to Goodwill Beans first in the morning for about 3-4 hours and after I'm planning again, <laughs> I planned this last week to go to Boca Raton to the small thrift stores they have uh, really nice small thrift stores i like it i think i never show you guys the stores on my different channel only i'm gonna try to do that on saturday <laughs> sunday i'm going back to goodwill Benz in the morning and i think that's all and then uh, i'm going to make videos i'm gonna make pictures i have to 
post as many as I can because on Monday I start uh, one of the courses. I'm studying also. I'm going. I have a full time job. I have a. I'm learning some new stuff for my job also. So next Monday I'm starting four four months course coding coding class. If you want to know. <laughs> So I'm going to be busy, 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 busy. As I told you, I would buy something for my home. Like this sofa. And this chair is super nice. And I really, really like it. I would get it for myself. Okay, let's see what I found. I find three Atleta shirts. It looks like brand new to me. Two of them size small. Another one is size medium. $4.99. It's 25% off. So I'm going to pay about $3.50, I believe. And I can sell them probably like $25, $30. And it's, it's, they like a new, in excellent condition. I got this Budweiser uh, cup, $8.99, 50% off. It's going to cost me $4.50. Brand new like this, selling for $45. And used one probably for $20, $25. So let's see how much I can make. So the shoes selling for $50 and up. Uh, free people dress has a hole inside there. I don't like to buy things and fix them. So I'm just gonna leave it behind. If I find something really, really expensive and I see a little hole, then maybe I'm gonna get it and fix it. But most of the time I don't like to, you know, to fix things. <laughs> like uh, fast sales, then I can buy it. If I need, I, I wash it, I clean a little bit, but not like I have to work on it. I don't really have time for that. So I wash really fast and sell really fast. That's all I want. So those Brooks shoes, bo both of them I listed for $75. The black one, the ghost one, was sold today for $60. Uh, another one I listed for $75 as well. I have a lot of likes, but uh, nobody buy it yet. Let's see how long it's gonna take to sell it. Let's see if it's true that another YouTubers, resellers, say that this shoe is selling really good and really fast. I need to always remember what sells for one person, maybe don't sell for another person. Okay, let's go pay. Let's go on a line. Oh, look at this little beautiful Valentine's Day. Oh, let's go check if they have some good expensive stuff. Oh, I see some Gucci for three hundred dollars. I have, I see some Jimmy Choo and Ferragamo and something like Michael Kors. So what is that? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful shoes. Uh, looks like real to me. Okay, that's all for today. I'm going home now. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for support. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Next one is gonna be a video about my haul. Bye bye, see you next one. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you, not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe and
I know what you're thinking and I'm thinking it too Maybe we should both just let it go You know my anxiety, I'm trying to be what you want And I get so overwhelmed Every time I climb up your walls Grab my hand and you let me fall I'm still standing here through it all 